Welcome back, I'm Rick Sanchez. It is official. The CDC is saying tonight that we are in the middle of a flu epidemic. And when it comes to the H1N1 flu virus, you're probably thinking right now, well, should I get the vaccine? Should my kids get the vaccine? And this is important stuff. So let me take you through first some of the information. 11 more children have died. This is just in the past week. 86 have died since spring. And now we hear there aren't enough vaccines. Not really. Instead of 40 million doses, apparently they only have 30 million doses. Dr. Jorge Rodriguez is a board certified internist and my guest right now. Doctor, how are you? I'm well, Rick. How are you doing? You got kids? No, I have nieces and nephews, though, and lots and lots and lots of uh, young cousins. Would you, so. tell, would you tell those nieces and nephews that they should take this vaccine? Absolutely, and I have. And uh, I definitely think that this flu vaccine is as safe as any other flu vaccine that's been created. And Rick, I mean, I heard your question before, and there's one sobering statistic that I think all parents should hear. During a regular flu season, which spans from September of one year to May of another year, mm -hmm. we usually have 40 to 50 deaths of children. Since September 1st to now, we've already had 43 deaths of children from H1N1. I see. Which is okay. All right. All right. Well, yeah. well, hold on. Let me, let's drill down here. L here. Here are my numbers. You tell me if I'm wrong. 36,000 people die every year from the flu, right? That's, that's correct. That's what we're told. If 36,000 people die every year from the flu, why should I get all excited and go out and take a, 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 an, an inoculation for uh, something that so far has killed what? Uh, 4,000 people? Well, that's correct. But usually we don't even see any deaths this early in the year. And the way that this is going, the rates that this is going, it's expected that probably 90,000 people should die. Really, I think people should go to the really? CDC website. They have some amazing graphs where you have down here what is usually seen as deaths in a year. We're already spiking up at four to five times the level. Well, but, but I'm interested in what you just said a little while ago, and I want to get back to sure. that. Because, you know, as, as, as much as I like me and you like you, I like my kids more than I like me when it comes Absolutely. to making sure that they're it. healthy. And you just said something interesting. You seem to be saying again correct me if i'm wrong that children are more susceptible to this particular uh h1n1 than they would be to other flus out there is it, it, am i reading no, you that's right no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that, first of all, the flu that's occurring this year, 98%, is H1N1. Right. Uh, children but, but, are more susceptible than adults to the H1N1 uh, flu. There's which, no doubt about so that. So they're more susceptible to the H1N1 than they would be to other flus. Because just, I just read you that 36,000 people die every year of the flu. Are most of those people like very old people? Yes. So, yes. But with this particular virus, kids are getting it more. Is, is it safe to give those kids this, this, uh, this inoculation, though? I mean, I, I worry. So, Rick, Rick parent, I understand. Look, what, I, look I'm serious. I, I worry that by I giving know you it, are. they're going to get sick. It's sicker. a serious subject. It's a serious subject. Um, and right now, all the tests that have been done, all the studies that have been done, there has been no increased risk or no increased side effects from this vaccine. L Rick, let me tell you what I, would, what I would probably do. Okay. Right now, there's still a delay on this vaccine. Vaccine, like you mentioned. Right. So even in my office, we haven't been able to get the vaccine. It probably won't be coming out until late October, early November for most people. If this continues at the trends that it's going at now, I think it'll be pretty clear over the next couple of weeks to most anybody that this is probably going to be something very serious. Okay. So I just tell most parents, you know what, keep a really vigilant eye on what's happening in the statistics because if this continues in the upward trends that it's currently showing, it's going to be pretty clear that everybody should get vaccinated. All right, and you're saying that we should? And look, I, I hit you as hard as I possibly could. I know. I, I want to know for the kids' sakes, you know? I, I, I understand. And Rick, as soon as I get that vaccine, I'm going to take it. As soon as my nieces and nephews can get it, I recommend that they take it. But every parent is responsible for their children, and they need to make an informed decision. Yeah, well, and we thank you for giving us your guidance You're welcome. and your expertise. You're welcome. All right, we, we really appreciate it, Doc. Thank you.